Frankie, when you're gonna pay for these guys? I eat, Tito. Why is that? Cause his mechanic's broke. Freeze! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Headless Hammerhead Guide to Comics and More. Today we will be looking at broken mechanics. Mainly combat mechanics and one specific one in particular that is pretty strong and when you hear what I have to say you're gonna hopefully agree and I'm going to present the reasons why I think it is such a strong move and why players will definitely love it but narrators will definitely not love it I don't know well hopefully you agree with me uh, and I will also present some fixes or possible fixes that yeah, you may want to implement as house rules or not it's up to you. We'll take a look and let's get down right to it. Ah! So you're sitting around the table with all your friends playing Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. They get to the boss and you're excited. You're ready to go here and you think you've fixed all the problems with the combat, the HP, the damage. And you're ready to roll, man. You have your big boss. You think about how they can handle six characters. And you decide he's going to have a bunch of, of thugs, minions, that uh, he'll have all around him to take care of the heroes, distract some of them maybe during the combat so he's not getting ganged up on during the battle. But suddenly you find that your big boss is firing away at the good guys and he keeps hitting his own guys and he's killing them with ease and he cannot land a single hit on the good guys and before he knows it all his minions are gone and he is surrounded by the heroes and they each take a shot at him and take him down in the first round how did this happen well it can happen to you you see there's a reaction that allows the player or your villain can do it too, but that's less common to avoid damage completely and instead have your character hit somebody else at an advantage. And it should be no surprise that it rhymes with Hulk because it is a very powerful move. So let's break it down. Skulk is a reaction so it has a trigger and it the trigger is the character's the target of an attack it doesn't say it has to be ranged or a close attack and someone within their reach is not a target of that attack so for example one of your uh, players is facing off against a goon and they're hand-to-hand -hand combat so they're within five feet and the effect is the character that's the target of the attack moves for free behind the nearby person and that person becomes the new target of the attack. The attacker's target number for the attack is the lower of the character's defense or the new target's defense. So what does this mean? So what does this mean? It means that for free, every single turn, each of the players can use as a reaction a free dodge, basically, without cost they are completely now no longer targeted by the attack. That means they avoid the attack completely. And instead, whoever they're standing next to becomes the target of the attack for free. And not only do they become the target of the attack, but the target number for the attack now becomes the lower between the original target and the new target. So basically it's kind of an advantage to hit. So if your villain is firing away at the hero, the hero can every single round Move behind the minion and avoid damage completely and the minion is going to be killed. But you say, the character can easily just do a dodge action also. Well here's the problem, the dodge action does have a cost because it's not a free avoidance of damage. The character only gets an advantage because he gives trouble to the attacker. So the attacker can still hit him. Similarly, the spider dodge, which is for ranged attacks, you can avoid the damage if the villain doesn't make a hit. So he still can roll a hit because all he gets is trouble on his attack. And this is a power. 
also consider that there are abilities like combat reflexes, which is a trait, not a power. Uh, so the character can get it for free and it gives them an additional reaction each turn, which gives them basically an, an additional dodge through Skulk. Now, add to that powers like lightning actions, which gives the character one extra standard action and one extra reaction each turn. So additionally, they can turn their Marvel die into a fantastic success when making an initiative check. So this makes lightning actions one of the strongest powers in the game after the Skulk reaction on its own. So it doesn't say anywhere that you cannot stack these additional reactions. So this would give you, along with combat reflexes, two additional reactions. So let's take a look at this mechanic in action. Let's say you've got Blade versus the Mandarin and several goons, okay? So he can actually totally avoid any damage from the Mandarin during this battle. Um, and possibly even from the goons, uh, depending on how it goes here. So the Mandarin shoots, kills that first one. Blade skulks again, kills the second one. Skulks again, kills the second one. This is, of course, if Blade has those two powers and has three reactions like I listed. Then he can easily take down one goon by himself and then move over and take care of the final goon. And then, of course, you'd have the Mandarin one-on-one -on -one against him. So here are a few things that I think uh, can help fix this mechanic. First, you can have it give it a, co a focus cost um, whether it's five or even one focus point the fact that the player would have to use focus points to begin with would make them a little more reluctant to use this or abuse it you can limit it to one use per turn or you can add something like the trouble element that dodge has but whatever you do I recommend you do something because this is some really powerful stuff that I guarantee you, once discovered by your players, they will cling to it and abuse it, and it'll really kind of dampen the fun, and you'll be very disappointed for your adventure. And so does end another edition of the Headless Hammerhead Guide to Comics and More. I wanted to share this picture with you. It's not CGI. I was actually at the mall believe it or not, and I saw this sky that looked great. It's exactly split in half here between the orange and pink and the blue, and uh, I was pondering if I could skulk my way out of a police shootout uh, when I saw this police car too. In any case, if you like that picture, like, hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. It helps out a lot, guys. I thank you very much for all your views and your comments. Uh, keep them coming. I'm very glad. I'm very active on it. Um, try to respond very quickly to any comments you place or any emails you sent me. And um, don't forget to visit my store, DangerousWatersComics.com. That's Dangerous Waters with an S. Comics with an S. Dot com where you can find all of the supplies that you need, all of the books. You can pre-order the books as well for the Marvel Multiverse role-playing game. You can find some comics in there, some other comic-related stuff and pop culture stuff as well. And you can get a discount. Um, you can get free shipping with the code FREESHIP. And send me an email if you have questions. Headlesshammerhead at gmail.com So, thank you very much for watching see you on the next one i'll have a video hopefully tomorrow or the day after i have a ton of other stuff i need to discuss about this game uh so thank you very much uh look forward to doing the next one and remember we don't bite here